He told us to give. He laid his hands on me. That's what the Archbishop was like. The Archbishop gave a special gift to the Oral Roberts University years ago. And it was so special, they made an announcement of it. Just to let you understand. From Africa. How'd you give to Oral Roberts University? From Africa. That's what it was like. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say this to you. We are the legacy of his ministry. The legacy of his life. Legacy of his work. The legacy of his message. And now we're taking this message everywhere. I talk about the Archbishop everywhere. And uh, I'm excited to talk about him. Because of what he meant to me. And what he did for me. He changed my life. Archbishop Margaret Idahosa, who we all call Mama, for the reason that she is our Mama, I want to thank you especially for your love. You know, children are born, but not every child comes home. I know that there are families who are unable to reach their children who have left home for years. They're praying. To even hear from them it was your love that pulled me here i want to thank you you know i i've spoken with you on the phone on different occasions and uh, when you're talking to me on the phone i'm on my knees just to let you know so the next time you're talking to me i want you to know so you can imagine it so you know that every word that you're speaking I'm on my knees pulling words out of your mouth because you always bless me you always bless me so I take it and I, it's you on the phone and I'm straight on my knees I don't do that for nobody I don't do it just because someone is talking to me or someone is praying for me no if you're praying with me and you want us to be on my knees oh sure I'll do it but there's only one person in the whole world and I'm serious who's talking to me on the phone and not because we are praying together no but she's talking to me on the phone and I'm on my knees and that's you because you know I can imagine Papa talking to me on the phone and I'm standing there and replying him but that love that I felt from him is what you transmitted to me and I want to thank you today you did something and I said I don't think you realize what this means to me he laid his hands on me I told you and I will not tell you what words he spoke because God asked him to do it he had to do it and today I went in to see mama before coming in to this place she said I have a gift for you and I didn't care what it was going to be really I didn't care what it was going to be anything from mama was going to be a blessing to me I didn't care it, it didn't matter what was going to be in the box and they brought out this red box it didn't matter to me what was going to be inside it didn't matter whatever you would have put in there would have meant so much to me but then she gave me something she said in this box is the personal Bible of the Archbishop the Bible with which he preached in over 150 nations around the world with notes inside she said giving it to you you didn't do it by yourself God made you do it God made you do it I know God made you do it you know I don't go anywhere by chance before coming to this place I knew it was part of destiny and I've been praying and talking to the Lord about my being here today and knowing it was his plan i got on my way to be here and i received that gift i know it stands for more than just the bible the collection of god's word it's the spirit of it and the prophetic act from you and what this means to me i want to thank you thank you for your love thank you thank you for what you're teaching us we're learning so quickly and so much from you my mom tells me of you showing care and love towards her it was her birthday only a few days ago and bishop fab and and, and larry they were both there how do you create time for every one of us thank you